Hi and welcome to this tutorial on dig holes. We're just going to show you the basics of dig holes today. Uh, first let's get started by uh, creating a bit of a mountain so we can dig something out. Um, you don't need to have a mountain to actually create dig holes but today we're going to use one. So we're going to run a tunnel that doesn't actually create its own dig holes. Okay so in any of the terrain you can actually remove these little uh, 10 by 10 or 5 by 5 squares depending on what you've got your setup. Under the objects uh, section you can find dig hole which is an object which should be in the built-in of trains and this little object uh, should be a 2 by a 2 by 2 square oh sorry 2x2 two two square, yep. And see how it puts this little X here? It's actually taken away the terrain itself and you can now see through the floor or at least uh, through the terrain, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so you just click on these and it, and it will delete whatever you need. Uh, if you want to uh, remove your dig holes, you just click on the little X's and it puts the terrain back. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you're wanting to do it into uh, a mountain, it's exactly the same way. Obviously, it's just the terrain that's been uh, changed. So, see, we can see through the to the other side now. So that's uh, that's the very basics of creating dig holes. Um, sometimes you'll want to uh, use them to just remove odd bits of terrain sticking through things, or uh, or like an example that we're going to do now is, let me just uh, remove those, that one seems to be exactly the same as the other dig hole, so we'll use that one. Uh, and we will, if you see we've, we'll go into the splines, tunnel 2, which is a tunnel which doesn't create dig holes, so when we put one end here, we put the other end over here, and we just uh, bring it down a bit so it goes through the middle. You can see that it hasn't created its own dig holes. Some tunnels do, uh, and some tunnels won't, uh, or some objects won't. And you can see when you're putting it in the uh, in the mountain, you've still got your terrain there, so that's obviously going to be problematic. What you can do is you can go into your dig holes, dig them out. Probably only need one, provided we set this up right. And as you can see, a dig hole, we probably might need two actually. Let's put another one there. And then we will move our spline over a bit. Come on. Somewhere around there. This is the quick and dirty job, but you can see now there's a bit of a turn on your wireframe so you can see where your tunnel runs and you can see now that there's a tiny bit of terrain sticking through so we'll just raise that slightly if I can get it correctly somewhere around there there we go so now that dig hole is working perfectly if we go over to the other end you'll see we can't see through our tunnel because we don't have a dig hole so again, we go in and we make our dig hole there. We'll flatten it out a little bit and get our spline to move. Come on. And again, you need to work on getting that perfect. Raising this. And that's how you roughly uh, create, well, in this instance, tunnels with your dig holes. But there's, uh, you know, you can, you can make different cliffs. You can uh, use dig holes for um, making tabletops, for your model uh, railroad sets. So there's a lot of use for dig holes. Um, another example, I guess, I could quickly show you is... Uh, I've got time. 
is, uh, let's go on the DLS and we'll grab a bigger dig hole. Download station, dig hole. Two words maybe, might help. Okay, you've got a 4x4 there, um, dig holes with meters, so you can see 4x8s, grab a whole bunch of these, and we'll probably grab the 4x4 as well. But there's lots there, you can download, shouldn't take very long to download. There we go, they're done. They're all shown up in here, a 2 by 8 so you can you know, not spend too much time. Create those dig holes. If you don't have a little X to get rid of them, because uh, I think that might be them there. Yep, so these have got really tiny little markers to get rid of them. You can use your Control Z, which will undo uh, your dig holes as well. Uh, and once you create your dig holes, so you might want a floor, you can go into your splines and find any spline, but I think uh, what we'll use is uh, maybe this this one here, what I've got selected, maybe perhaps a bigger one, and when you run that on the floor, or across the floor, you can sync that say by 40 meters, And you'll probably want to run it a lot longer than that, so you don't see it. But that's where you can start to get a uh, floor in your tabletop uh, model railroad sets that you can create. So this then becomes the tabletop, and the floor is down there, which you can't actually get to. But you can see how this would start to work when you lay a few of these down, uh, and you start to take away that skybox in the background and this becomes your floor. So that's just another way of using uh, using the dig holes to create uh, something different in trains. Drop them down. You'd obviously line them up so you wouldn't get the Z fighting but you can see how uh, it now looks like there's a floor down there and then you'll start to run uh, a strip around the outside here, like a spline, you'll probably drop that down by, uh, I'd say, um, 10 meters so that you get a nice little edge on your table, and then you can start to build from there. So that's dig holes, you can cut them, cut the train up however you like, um, whatever use you may need, but they're pretty simple to use. Um, so I hope that will help you when you're creating your routes. Thanks for watching.